everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be our February Amazon haul. You guys, I had planned to have absolutely nothing, well, maybe a few things, but not a whole lot to show you this month. After we redid the homeschool room, I had planned to be good and not spend hardly any money. And then Amazon went and made me spend all my money because they had their buy two get one free sale and that only happens about two to three times a year and normally it includes books and games and like hands-on kit type of things for kids so of course I spent more than I planned to spend but that's okay because technically I saved a lot of money by doing the buy two get one free and a lot of it is things that we're going to use in the next few months anyway so it is what it is let me go ahead and show you what we got the first thing I picked up was Flora and Ulysses. Now, this is a book that I knew I was going to purchase whether it was on sale or not. Luckily, it was. And that is because the movie just came out on Disney Plus, And I like to, or at least I try to, read the books before we watch the movies to the best of our abilities. It doesn't always happen, but I like to try to do that. So I knew that we wanted to read this book before we watch the movie. So that is what we are reading right now. I also picked up The Secret Garden, mainly because this is one of my favorites as a kid, and I really wanted to read it to Emily, and she's finally at the age where I think she will appreciate it, so I grabbed it to be one of our future read-alouds. I also got the 2021 Farmer's Almanac. Now, the main reason that we got this was for research for the Lunar Lore unit study that we just put out, which is for the um, full moons for each of the month. And then also Kevin wanted it anyway for like the gardening tips and things like that. So it was like kind of homeschool and kind of personal. And then I'm not sure if these two were part of the buy two get one free sale because we actually purchased these before the sale started. And that is the sequels to the book wanders. We really, really liked the first one. So we went ahead and got pages and co the lost fairy tales and Pages & Co. Map of Stories. Now we have already finished this one and it was just as good as the first one. And we have started this one, but I don't have a review for you on it yet because we're not finished. I'll let you know when it is done, how we feel about the whole series. Okay, and then I let Emily scroll through the buy two, get one free books and told her she could pick one out because um, we were supposed to go buy a book in a game after the book in game challenge that we did in January and we haven't gotten around to doing that. So I just told her to go ahead and pick out a book from the sale and it actually saved me money. So woohoo for that. And she picked out Fly Guy. This is six stories in one. It's I Spy Fly Guy, Fly Guy meets Fly Girl. Buzz Boy and Fly Guy, Fly Guy versus the Fly Swatter, Ride, Fly Guy, Ride, and There's a Fly in My Soup. So that's the six stories that it includes. And then these two I have checked out from the library a hundred times, and it's ones that I've just been wanting to add to our collection. And since they were on sale and included in the buy two, get one free, I went ahead and grabbed them. And that is the Little Leaders collection. So we have the Little, I'm sorry, Little Legends. Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History. And then the Little Legends, Bold Women in Black History. And they're just like perfect um, for our bedtime basket. They have really beautiful images and just a short kind of one page summary. So they're perfect, like I said, for our bedtime basket each night. All right, I also picked up four I think these were the four that we were missing of the Diana Aston books. If you guys have never seen these, they're gorgeous. She has, um, there's a beetle one that we have. I'm trying to remember the other one. I think it's a bird one, an egg. Nope, the nest. I think it's the nest. Anyway, we picked up the Rock is Lively. And like I said, they're gorgeous inside. And they have a ton of information. A seed is sleepy. A 
an egg is quiet. And a butterfly is patient. And like I said, they're gorgeous. The detail, the information, they're just beautiful, beautiful picture books. And we love this encyclopedia set from Smithsonian. Um, the DK ones, they're like the visual or whatever they call them. I think they're visual. And they released a children's encyclopedia that's kind of a little bit of everything. So I grabbed it for Emily so that she would have kind of one place to find whatever information she wanted. It has thousands of facts, stats, illustrations. And it's by DK and Smithsonian. And I really don't think you can go wrong with either of those. So this was one that I'm really excited that we added. All right, you guys, I have games now. Now there's two games that we have that are actually ages 14 plus. So I'm gonna make sure that I point those out to you because I'm not 100% sure that Emily's gonna be able to play them. We haven't played them yet. And I will let you guys know if she is, but they were on sale and they looked really fun. And I figured there were ones that me and Kevin can play even if she can't or she'll grow into. Now, this was a game Emily picked for her book and game because like I said, we hadn't made it to the store yet. And this is a variety game pack. Um, I have no idea what these games are gonna be like. We haven't opened them yet, but it is a macaroni and cheese, a ketchup, a jello, and then some sort of surprise game. And this is what it looks like on the back. So each of those things is actually a separate game. If we're being honest, I think she picked it because she's like obsessed with ketchup. She puts it on everything. This was the game that Kevin picked. There's rocks in here, so I'm trying not to like make a ridiculously loud noise. Um, it's a rocks and mineral game set by National Geographic. So it includes uh, memory, bingo, trivia, and it has a ton of rocks with it too. And then this was my pick. It's Upwards. I really, really love word games. Scrabble is one of my favorite. And this just looks like it would be really fun because the letters actually stack on top of each other. So it's almost like Scrabble, but three-dimensional. And I think we might have loaned our copy out or we took it somewhere to play and it didn't come back with us. But when I looked the other day, we did not have photosynthesis on our shelves. So I got photosynthesis because it was in the sale. And probably after I purchase this, our copy will show back up. But that's okay. I will repurpose it if it does. And Mariposas. This is one of the ones that's 14 and up, and it's um, the migration of the um, monarch butterfly through the different seasons, and the game itself just looked so beautiful, um, and I know that we're going to be doing bugs soon, so I went ahead and picked it up because it was on sale. I don't think it was part of the buy two, get one free, but I think it had a pretty big coupon or rebate to it. Um... Like I said, I don't know if she's going to be able to play this or not. We're going to try and see how it goes. But basically, you migrate your butterflies across the continent, and you collect flowers, and you breed. And, I mean, it's, like, it's really, really cool looking. So I'm excited to try that one. The other one that's 14 and up is called Spiky Dastards. Um, my brother-in-law told me about it because we really like fast-paced games. And basically, it's by the same makers as Cobra Paw, which is one of our favorites. Um, you have these little spiky guys that you, like, put out on the table. And then you're using these cards. I think you're either trying to find the one that's missing from the card or you have to fight to grab. Like on this one, you would find the one that's missing. And then a card that only has one, you would grab the one pictured. So you're like fighting over the little spiky guys, but you're trying to speed grab things. And we love Cobra Paw, so he suggested it, and I went ahead and got it. And then for kits, some of these Kevin and Emily have already started, um, so if the boxes look a little messy, I'm sorry. But one of the kits that we picked up was the National Geographic Build Your Own Volcano, 
We have really, really fallen in love with the National Geographic's. The quality of the kits are just so nice. It has everything you need. Um, and they all come with a really nice informational booklet that tells you more about it. It's it's just kind of a really great all-in-one thing. And when they're only like $15 and then you can buy two, get one free, it makes them really affordable. This is a glow-in-the-dark crystal lab. This is actually growing in our window as I speak. And then this is the last of the kits, and it is the Discover Amber Science Kit. They haven't done this one yet. This is the first one that's not a kid's per se, so I don't know how this one's going to go. I'll let you know. It does still say that it's ages 8 plus, so I still think it's going to be fine. And then we tried out this one today, and it was really good, so I can recommend it. Um, the National Geographic Puzzles, these are our 3D puzzle. This one is the Rainforest. And it, again, came with a really, really awesome, like, educational magazine that, ta that talked more about the rainforest and the animals in it. Emily was able to mostly assemble it by herself. Kevin had to help a little bit. Um, but it was, it was well worth it. And then I also got the Insect Powers one. Insect Superpowers. And we haven't done this one yet, but it's the same um, kind of setup as the other one. So I'm sure it's going to be fine. And Emily is about as girly girl as they come. So I picked up this bug view for her because I thought she would like it. It's got like, let's see if I can show you here. The bottom slides open so like daddy could catch a bug and she could still look at it and hold the handle without it like touching her. So I thought it would be kind of a fun thing. It's a bug catcher and it's a five times magnifier. I'm not sure I'm going to actually be able to get this on camera. One of the last things I bought was um, a portfolio. This is like an 11 by 14 art portfolio. I bought this to be able to put our My Zoo Box animal anatomy posters in. So that they could, um, you know, and like could keep flipping through them. And they fit perfectly in this um, and it's going to keep them preserved and it kind of keeps them all in one place too because before we would fold them up and they were just kind of like all over the place. So I love that they're all in one place now and that they're being, you know, preserved and she can look at them. She likes to pretend that she's playing vet with these different animals and that they're x-rays. So she loves getting them and flipping through them. So it works really, really well for that. And then the absolute last thing I have to show you is such a like I'm getting old adult kind of thing. I've had knee surgery on my knee um, and I've re-injured it just a few times. And the weather here lately, like the cold, hot, cold, hot, and raining and everything has had my knee really acting up. So the last thing I have that was part of our Amazon haul was a knee brace. You guys, it's that's so not fun, but it's reality. And unfortunately, I'm getting old and my knee doesn't like it. And we went horseback riding, which probably didn't help. I mean, it was a blast and I loved it, but it probably didn't help. Probably aggravated my knee. So a knee brace it is. All right, so that is our February Amazon haul. Tell me in the comments down below, what were you buying on Amazon lately? And did you get anything during the buy two, get one free sale? You guys, I normally try to let you know when that happens, but I literally caught it on the last day, like a few hours before it stopped. And I was just trying to get everything in my cart. So I'm sorry I didn't let you know. I will try to do better next time.